Muhammad Ali is, for many people around the world, the greatest sportsman of all time, a man who rose from humble beginnings to become the three times heavyweight champion of the world. A major new exhibition at the O2 in London is devoted to his remarkable life and many achievements. And as our arts editor, Will Gompers, reports, it tells a story that reaches far beyond the boxing record books. Ain't been a man born yet. And his link. If you get my way, I confuse him with shock. Oh! <laughs> He's up to his old tricks, floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. That was when he was in his prime. He's still fighting. May come back and shave the whole earth. The Parkinson's disease, which has rendered him too poorly to travel. But the Muhammad Ali show goes on in the shape of an exhibition of memorabilia. His wife gave me a tour. This is a robe. Muhammad had a huge affection for Elvis Presley. And evidently, Elvis had a huge affection for Muhammad. And he presented him this robe in Las Vegas. He gave it to him. And it's all bejeweled, and um, he had it specially made for Muhammad. There's replica belts and photos of plenty, and the famous torn glove from the Henry Cooper fight. You know, Muhammad's a symbol of hope and inspiration, and not just to African Americans, to all people. But it was his special duty, he felt, to take his celebrity and try to use it for the betterment of those who could not lift themselves up, regardless of color. The old brother. It is as much for the public stands he has taken as it is for his remarkable achievements in the ring that prompted a contemporary British heavyweight to start a campaign for Muhammad Ali to be awarded an honorary knighthood. Ali is the greatest in his field as a boxer, as a man, and as a sportsman in general. I don't believe there's any, any other sportsman who is on his level in any way, shape or form, what he believed in, uh, what he done inside of his sport and outside of it, the amount of people he's touched around the world, the, you know, the amount of people he's inspired. And entertained. And I always ask my mother, I said, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Even the angels. I said, Mother, when we die, do we go to heaven? She said, naturally, we go to heaven. I said, well, what happened to all the black angels when they took the pictures? <laughs> What would it mean to him to be given the knighthood? Oh, well, he would be ecstatic. I know, he would be ecstatic. And all you people Muhammad Ali has transcended his sport to become a cultural icon, as famous for his oratory as he was for his glove work. He is a man who always likes to have the last word. I'm going to eat some raw meat and I'm going to train. I'm going to get ready and chop some more trees. <laughs> uh, the great Muhammad Ali, that was Will Gompers reporting there.